To commemorate the founding of New Orleans in 1718, WYES presents this tricentennial moment in celebration of our city's past and present. For over 150 years, horses have galloped to the finish line at the New Orleans fairgrounds. The track is the third oldest in the nation, officially opening in 1872, but racing actually began on the site much earlier. The best jockeys and fastest thoroughbreds have raced at the venue. The champion mare, Panzeretta, is buried in the track's infield, alongside Black Gold, the winner of the 1924 Kentucky Derby. Triple Crown winner World Away won the Fairgrounds Louisiana Handicap in 1942, and the track's own Risen Star captured the Preakness and Belmont Stakes in 1988. Four years before he was killed at Little Bighorn, General George Armstrong Custer had a string of horses he trained there, and Ulysses S. Grant was a visitor just a few years after serving as the nation's 18th president. The facility's ornate gatehouses on Gentilly Boulevard were designed by noted architect James Gallier, Jr., when the race course evolved into the mechanics and agricultural fairgrounds. In the early 20th century, pioneer aviator Ruth Law set a world record for successive loops during a fairgrounds aerobatic show. And at the onset of World War I, the track temporarily became Camp Martin, an Army training facility. Its most famous non-racing activity is the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival. In 1972, the fairgrounds became home to the festival that is attended by nearly a half million music lovers each spring. The fairgrounds has survived a variety of disasters, including grandstand fires in 1918 and again in 1993, when a seven alarm electrical fire destroyed the rambling old clubhouse. A new structure that opened in 1997 was heavily damaged by Hurricane Katrina, closing the track for a year. Today, the 145-acre complex is considered one of the best in the country, drawing competitors and fans from far-flung places. The fairgrounds helped establish New Orleans as a major horse racing center, providing diversion while proving itself to be a valuable cultural as well as economic asset to the city. WYS's New Orleans Tricentennial Moments are brought to you by the Miro Foundation and presented in association with the historic New Orleans Collection.